Did I want to show you guys how you can add these crazy lightning effects inside of After Effects with no plugins needed? So open up the timeline here. We have this Lil Uzi Vert music video and we're going to be adding the lightning effects to this clip. You guys are going to be stunned at how simple this is and how fire of an effect it actually looks. Before we hop into this video, you can get buy one get one free editing packs for everything on my website. If you guys are looking for brand new plugins like Fast Effects or Surveillance, those are also included in the deal. If you guys add six editing packs to your cart, three of those are going to be completely free. Fast Effects allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and have full customizability over all of them inside of Premiere Pro. And surveillance allows you to add crazy security camera effects inside of After Effects, alongside all of my other packs like color grading, drag and drop 3D, music video titles, textures, and a ton more. And we also have an all-in-one bundle where you can get all my packs for one price. If this is something you guys are interested in, go check out my website down below. But without further ado, let's hop right back into the video. So we're gonna go ahead and search up lightning here. I already have it searched inside of the effects and presets. And we're going to go ahead and drag on lightning under obsolete here. Just take it and drag it onto your clip here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and put the lightning where you want by controlling these two points here. So go ahead and click and drag it where you want it. I'm going to go to the very beginning of the timeline and drag point one there and point two here. And we'll have it cover this piano for this one here. So we're going to keyframe start point and end point here. And we're going to go along the video now and move them every couple of frames. So you guys can see I'm just moving the playhead and then moving them over. It doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like if you try and make it too perfect, it'll end up looking really bad. So just copy the workflow that I'm doing, move it over a little bit and then move this over. If it goes off the screen, just kind of guess where it's going to be. It doesn't really matter too much. And you'll see you'll get something just like this. Now the lightning is fully controllable inside of here as well. You can turn up the segments to make it a little bit more intense. So that looks crazy. If you want it a little bit less intense, just go ahead and turn down the segments. It's totally up to you guys. I'm going to go for nine there, and I think that looks pretty good. So you can also turn up the detail level as well if you want to go ahead and get more of a textured look like that. Totally up to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to something like four. You can also play with the amplitude and the detail of the amplitude. Branching as well, which is how far like out it goes from the actual effect. And you can play with the color as well. If you zoom in really, really close, you can see there's like an inside whiter color and then an outline color. So you can change this to whatever you guys want. If you wanted this red, that works there just like that. I think this looks really good matching these buttons here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a darker red. That looks great there, guys. So what you want to end up doing eventually is just duplicating these and then moving them around your scene. So we're going to go ahead on the second one we duplicated, delete the endpoints, and we're going to put this one somewhere else. So let's go ahead and put it like up here on this computer system. And the exact same thing, key from the start and end point. So that one's completely gone from the frame, but you guys can see there it's on the clip just like that. And I also recommend going ahead and playing with these to make them look a lot different on the second one. So it doesn't just look like the exact same clip that was copy and pasted. You know what I mean? So we'll turn that up. You guys can see we get a different look just like that. So you guys pretty much understand how to create the lightning and put it on. So let me show you guys some effects that you can use to make it look even better. Render the lightning as a .png file. So as like a .png video. So once you have it tracked and everything, let's say you have like 10 more of these around your scene, what you would do is turn off your video. You'd go up to file here, go over to export, add to render queue. And then once you're inside of the render queue here, which is this setting right here, you want to go over to output mode and click on this, change the format to QuickTime, and then change the channels to RGB plus alpha. So it's going to render it as transparent and then we'll hit render. So you guys can see just like that, it's been rendered. And just to show you guys what I meant is I'm going to turn off the adjustment layer now and turn the video back on with no lightning effects. And we're going to drag and drop this now transparent layer in here. And boom, you guys can see the lightning effects are now in here and they're transparent just like a PNG would be. Now, if we go ahead and add deep glow to this, it's only gonna affect those. Boom, as you guys can see, just like that. Make sure to go ahead and play with the deep glow settings in here if you wanna make them super bright. If you don't wanna use deep glow, there's a built-in glow into After Effects. It's called VR glow here. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that on here. And it doesn't seem to wanna work. We'll go ahead and throw on the regular stylized glow inside of After Effects. And we get a little bit more of a glow there. You just wanna go ahead and turn up the threshold. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the glow radius a bit and the glow intensity. Not as good as deep glow, but it works as well. Now, now, another cool thing that you can add to this is if we go ahead and drag this adjustment layer back up, we'll delete the lightning effects from it and just use it as a blank adjustment layer. If you go ahead and add RSMB to this, you'll get motion blur on the lightning that makes it look a lot more realistic. And I think that looks pretty crazy there, guys. And last but not least, to spice this up to the next level, we're going to be adding some sound design. So I'm going to drag and drop this static electricity download effect inside of here and put it below everything because it is a video, but we still want the audio. You guys can hear the effects inside of there. Just go ahead and turn them down as well or tweak them to your liking. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm assuming for your guys' stuff, you're going to go ahead and add a lot more lightning to the background. I only added two to show you guys how to do it. You guys can go ahead and freely add as much as you want. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.